This next story is 95 years in the making. The Holocaust left a St. Petersburg woman with nothing. Her parents and siblings were killed. She was a teenager at the time, and somehow she survived. Mary Wygodsky talked with 10 Tampa Bay's Liz Crawford about her life and how she recently learned one very important piece of information. Memories of the Holocaust still haunt our world. Mary Wygodsky's entire family was killed. She survived the genocide. I want you to go back all the way to the 1920s when you were a little girl. I had a wonderful family, mother, father, two little sisters, and a brother. But by the time Mary was a teenager, happy memories were replaced with fear, and it only got worse. Three concentration camps and two years in a ghetto. Mary last saw her family in 1943 when she was taken to the first of three concentration camps. I remember it very well, and it was very tragic for me, and I couldn't take it. She says she came close to death more than once, including a time when she was allowed to take a shower in a death camp in Poland. As I came to the, to the door, the German guard told me, halt, and he said there is no more room, and I was very upset about it. But what I found out right after, all those people before me were guests. None of them survived. In 1945, U.S. soldiers liberated the camp Mary was at. She immigrated to Israel and then to the United States. Why did you make it your mission to tell your story and to get involved with the museum here? There are too many liars, too many distorters, people that distort. The Holocaust. Mary's memory is vivid, but she never knew her real birth name. Her parents always called her by a nickname. Mertinka, Mertia. This is something that they usually do with little children. Last year, a museum curator went on a hunt. But that name that her beloved parents had given to her was missing. Ursula Shapinska spent weeks looking through archives. Lots of those documents were destroyed during the Holocaust, but this page survived. And Mary is listed there as a newborn baby called Mera. They, they found my birth certificate. This was, a, to me, a, a miracle. You can actually ask Mary questions yourself at the Florida Holocaust Museum. She is part of the inter interactive exhibit there. It's called Dimensions and Testimony.